Want to speed up your language learning? Get access to all of our best PDF cheat sheets for free. Just click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Okay, focus. Hi everyone, this is your host Lena from HungarianPod101.com. Today, top words video topic is top 10 phrases you'll need for a date. Let's go. Velem vacsoráznál. Velem vacsoráznál. Would you like to go out to dinner with me? Velem vacsoráznál. Would you like to go out to dinner with me? Yeah, it's a very common question if you are asking someone out for a dinner date in Hungary. So if you hear this, the person wants to go out to a dinner with you. Yes. Rá érsz ezen a hétvégén? Rá érsz ezen a hétvégén? Are you free this weekend? Rá érsz ezen a hétvégén? Are you free this weekend? This is not necessarily a um, suggestion for a date, but you can use it if you are not sure if the person is interested in you 100%, like in a romantic way, maybe just as a friend. But still, this question is safe to ask if you want to hang out with the person during the weekend. Szeretnél együtt lógni velem? Szeretnél együtt lógni velem? Would you like to hang out with me? Szeretnél együtt lógni velem? Would you like to hang out with me? This is quite a casual question in Hungarian. The nuance is quite casual, so it's not referring to any romantic um, date suggestion. So it's just like you can say it to your buddies, like, would you like to hang out with me? Szeretnél együtt lógni velem? Yeah, you can use it that way, but at the same time, again, if you're not sure if the other person whom you like uh, likes you back the same way, but you just, you know, want to spend time with the person, feel free to ask this question. It's safe. Annyira aranyos vagy. Annyira aranyos vagy. You are so cute. Annyira aranyos vagy. You are so cute. Yes, this is a nice compliment. Annyira aranyos vagy. Yes. I like that. And I like to say it to other people too. Even though I might be not interested in a romantic way in them. But yeah. If you like a guy or if you're like a girl, they will probably be very happy if you say this to them. Remekül nézel ki. Remekül nézel ki. You look great. Remekül nézel ki. You look great. Again, this is a compliment which is safe to use and it just makes people feel good. So. Use it either in a friendly or a romantic way. Nagyszerű este volt. Nagyszerű este volt. That was a great evening. Nagyszerű este volt. That was a great evening. Uh, at the end of your date night, don't forget to thank the person who went out with you. And a great way to do that is to say this sentence. Majd hívlak. Majd hívlak. I'll call you. Majd hívlak. I'll call you. <laughs> this is tricky. The person can mean it or not. Hány órakor találkozzunk holnap? Hány Órakor találkozzunk holnap. What time should we meet tomorrow? Hány órakor találkozzunk holnap? What time should we meet tomorrow? Use this question when you would like to 
arrange the date or just an appointment with someone. It can be used either way. Just arrive on time. Láthatlak újra. Láthatlak újra. Can I see you again? Láthatlak újra. Can I see you again? It's a positive sign after a date if you get this question. I think in Hungary it's used mainly by men so that they show that they are interested in their date. No, I don't say it to guys, sorry, no. Okay, use this question if you are interested in meeting your date. Ah, oh, next time. Menjünk máshova? Menjünk máshova? Shall we go somewhere else? Menjünk máshova? Shall we go somewhere else? Use this question when you would like to switch places. For example, you want to try another location to hang out or you don't like the place where your date is, but you don't want to say it directly. So you can just ask, menjünk máshova? And then, yeah, you can switch places. This is the end of our list. Thank you for watching this video. Let us know in a comment what other questions or compliments you would say during a date. Don't forget to like the video and to subscribe. And check out our site hungarianpod101.com for more great content. See you next time. Bye. Today's top words topic is 10 most romantic ideas for a date. Gyertya fényes vacsora. Gyertya fényes vacsora. Candlelit dinner. Gyertya fényes vacsora. Candlelit dinner. A barátnőjét egy gyertya fényes vacsorával várta. A barátnőjét egy Gyertya fényes vacsorával várta. He was waiting for his girlfriend with a candlelit dinner. Egy hosszú sétára megy. Egy hosszú sétára megy. To go for a long walk. Egy hosszú sétára megy. To go for a long walk. Egy hosszú sétára megyünk délután. Egy hosszú 
sétára megyünk délután. We are going for a long walk in the afternoon. I like long walks, but not only for a date, but in general. So if my date wants to bring me for a long walk, I'm really happy to go. Bowlingozni megy. Bowlingozni megy. To go bowling. Bowlingozni megy. To go bowling. A barátaim bowlingozni mennek. A barátaim bowlingozni mennek. My friends are going bowling. Akváriumba megy. Akváriumba megy. To go to the aquarium. Akváriumba megy. To go to the aquarium. Mikor megyünk az akváriumba? Mikor megyünk az akváriumba? When are we going to the aquarium? Operába megy. Operába megy. To go to the opera. Operába megy. To go to the opera. Kivel mész az operába? Kivel mész az operába? Who are you going to the opera with? The opera in Hungary is really nice. We have a really nice opera house. So if you have a chance to visit Hungary and visit Budapest, make sure to go there at least to see the building. Or if you get a chance to see a piece, then I really recommend it because it's a really nice experience. Állatkertbe megy. Állatkertbe megy. To go to the zoo. Állatkertbe megy. To go to the zoo. Imádok az állatkertbe menni. Imádok az állatkertbe menni. I love going to the zoo. Yes, that's true. I really like animals and I really like nature. So I like going to the zoo. And in Budapest, uh, we also have a quite big zoo. In my hometown, we have a zoo which is actually inside the forest. Yeah, I prefer that type of zoo where you can see the animals in the nature and they can walk on the actual ground, not on concrete surface and things like that. So, yeah, I really like that about uh, my hometown that they established a zoo like that. Piknikezik. Piknikezik. To have a picnic. Piknikezik. To have a picnic. Elerett az eső, mikor piknikeztünk. Elerett az eső, mikor piknikeztünk. It started to rain when we had a picnic. We usually had a picnic on the sports day of um, our elementary school. So we went outside to a green area and we had those uh, exercises and races. But after that, we had a picnic and we could play and it was really fun. But one day, I don't know how the teachers planned that. <laughs> Nobody checked the weather forecast, but just right before the start of the running race, as far as I remember, it started to rain so heavy. And everybody had their blankets on the grass already laid out and <laughs> their stuff just on it. And yeah, we really weren't prepared for that. And it started to rain so heavy that we had to rush back to pick up our stuff so that we can save the situation. And then we just took the bus and went back home. And it was a really traumatic and sad experience. Egy komputra megy. Egy komp útra megy. To take a ferry ride. Egy komp útra megy. To take a ferry ride. Szombaton egy komp útra megyünk a szüleimmel. Szombaton egy komp 
útra megyünk a szüleimmel. On Saturday we'll take a ferry ride with my parents. Sétál a tengerparton. Sétál a tengerparton. To walk on the beach. Sétál a tengerparton. To walk on the beach. Egy pár sétál a tengerparton. Egy pár sétál a tengerparton. A couple is walking on the beach. Walking on the beach is nice. Um, Hungary doesn't have sea or ocean. Uh, we have rivers and lakes. But even we have a huge lake called Lake Balaton. And it's that big that it can feel as a <laughs> sea. So it's fun to walk on the beach there. And it's romantic. The nature is beautiful. So if you want to bring your date in Hungary to a place like that, then please go to Lake Balaton. It's really nice. Kerámia órát vesz. Kerámia órát vesz. To take a pottery class. Kerámia órát vesz. To take a pottery class. Kerámia órát fogok venni az iskolában. Kerámia órát fogok venni az iskolában. I'll take a pottery class at school. We never had pottery class at school, but there was some extra lesson, I guess. I never took it, but I did pottery on a different occasion. So I'm pretty sure it's a very good idea for a date because it's fun. You can do it together. And yeah, I would enjoy that. Thank you for watching our video. This is the end of our list of the romantic ideas. If you have anything extra to recommend, please leave it in a comment. Thank you for watching again and see you next time. Bye. Salonna. Salonna. Bacon. A kedvencem a füstölt szalonna. A kedvencem a füstölt szalonna. Smoked bacon is my favorite. We have various kinds of bacon. You can get very nice ones with garlic taste, smoked one as well, and covered with paprika powder, so I really like most of them. Do you like bacon? How about in your country? Do you have various kinds of bacon? Let us know in the comment section. Magyar barátokkal beszélget. To chat with Hungarian friends. Sokkal érdekesebb a magyar nyelvet használni, ha magyar barátokkal beszélgetsz. Sokkal érdekesebb a magyar nyelvet használni, ha Magyar barátokkal beszélgetsz. It's much more interesting to use the Hungarian language when you chat with Hungarian friends. Szeretnél együtt lógni velem? Would you like to hang out with me? This is quite a casual question in Hungarian. The nuance is quite casual, so it's not referring to any romantic um, date suggestion. So it's just like you can say it to your buddies like would you like to hang out with me? Szeretnél együtt lógni velem? Yeah, you can use it that way but at the same time again if you're not sure if the other person whom you like uh, likes you back the same way but you just you know want to spend time with the person feel free to ask this question. It's safe. Megtanul magyar ételt főzni. To learn to cook Hungarian food. A német ismerősöm nemrég megtanult magyar ételt főzni. My German friend recently learned to cook Hungarian food. Pálmafa. Palm tree. Pálmafák sorakoznak az út mentén. There are palm trees along the road. 
Iskola. School. Az iskola nincs messze a házunktól. The school isn't far from our house. Gesztenye. Chestnut. Süssünk gesztenyét holnap. Let's bake chestnuts tomorrow. Chestnuts are so good, especially in autumn. I really like baking them, but yeah, it's kind of hard to find chestnuts recently. I used to buy them in Hungary in the market, and then you have to soak it in water first because the, the shell softens up a little bit, so you can make a small cut on it with a knife so that when you bake it, it's going to crack and then you can eat it easily. Yeah, that's a trick. Life advice is from Lena. Egy repülőjegy Magyarországra. An airplane ticket to Hungary. Vettem egy repülőjegyet Magyarországra. I bought an airplane ticket to Hungary. The price varies based on <coughs> when you're traveling or from where you're traveling. Within Europe, it's pretty easy because they have those cheaper air companies, so you can get it pretty cheap. But if you are traveling from a more uh, far destination, then I would recommend going around February or even around July. I was surprised when I found out that the airplane ticket prices weren't that bad in July because I thought that it's summertime, so everybody's traveling and it's going to be super expensive, but it really wasn't. I would be so happy to receive it as a present. Yeah, this can be useful when you prepare that three minutes introductory <laughs> introductory speech for your friends. For example, you can talk about uh, your... Yes, I remember when I was learning language, it was one of the homeworks that you had to write about your... Da not daily routine, but like weekly routine. So you were talking about what you did at the beginning of the week and what you're doing right now and what you're planning to do during the weekend. So such compositions could be something what helps you to learn about or write about past, present and future events. Hogy csak, a vendégem voltál. Don't worry about it, you were my guest. Again, it's something very nice to hear from someone. Köszönöm. Thank you. This is a very common way to say thank you. There are different levels to say thank you. So you can add an extra word in front or at the end or both ways. So for instance, nagyon köszönöm means thank you very much. Szeret. To love. Szeretem a csokoládét. I love chocolate. Igen. Yes. Szereted a macskákat? Do you like cats? Igen. Yes. Tisztel. To respect. Tisztelem azokat, akiktől tanulok valamit. I respect those from whom I can learn something. Oké. Okay. Oké. Okay. This word comes from English. Probably it's easier for Hungarian speakers to pronounce it that way. So we just say a sound E at the end. So it sounds OK instead of OK. Használ. To use. Milyen okos telefont használsz? What kind of smartphone do you use? Bocsánat. I'm sorry. Um, when you say bocsánat, it's more like you mean it more. So please use it when you are sorry for something that, you, that you've done, a mistake, or you hurt somebody. Or um, you can use it as well when you're walking down the street and you step on someone's feet, then you can say bocsánat as well. Kimegy, to go out. Kimegyek a parkba sétálni. I go out to the park for a walk. Do you like walking? Merre van a mosdó? Where is the restroom? 
this is a very very useful phrase so mere van a mosdó when you are looking for the restroom obviously so um yeah if you're in a situation that you need to go just pop this question out and you will know dolgozik to work a szobatársam kórházban dolgozik my roommate works at the hospital ez mennyibe kerül how much is this you can use this question at the store when you are not sure about the price and there is no price tag just ask the shop assistant ez mennyibe kerül Érez. to feel remekül érzem magam i feel great nem tudom i don't know Really don't I don't know. know. I don't know what to say. Nem tudom mit mondjak. <laughs> Hogy. To leave. A rendőrök elhagyták a helyszínt. Policemen left the scene. Viszont látásra. Goodbye. Um, if you want to be less formal, you can say viszlát, but it's still in the formal group. If you want to say bye to your friends, just say hello or see ya. It works both ways, so it's pretty convenient. That's how you say bye to your friends or you say viszontlátásra or viszlát to someone that you don't know. Want to speed up your language learning? Get access to all of our best PDF cheat sheets for free. Just click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Hi everyone, this is Lena from HungarianPod101.com. This is Top Words. Let's check another topic. Today's topic is What are your top 10 language learning goals for the year? Let's go! HungarianPod101.com Túlélési kifejezések lecke sorozatát úgy tervezem befejezni, hogy minden nap végig hallgatok két leckét. I'm planning to finish Survival Phrases Lecture Series on HungarianPod101.com by listening to two lessons a day. I think it's very important to study daily when you're learning a new language, at least just repeat things that you learned the previous day if you don't have time for a new lesson it's very beneficial so yeah please check our site and just just study hungarian at hungarianpod101.com úgy fogok kiolvasni egy magyar nyelvű könyvet hogy naponta 10 oldallal haladok tovább i'll finish reading one hungarian book by proceeding with 10 pages a day. Are you reading some Hungarian books? If you do, please let us know the title in the comment section. Átmegyek a magyar testen. I'll pass the Hungarian test. Have you ever tried to pass a Hungarian language exam or test? I'm really curious, so please, if you have, then leave us a comment below. Teljesen érteni fogok egy magyar filmet úgy, hogy minden nap megnézem. I will fully understand a Hungarian movie by watching it every day. Watching movies when you are learning a new language is both fun and beneficial. And I used to do that also. I used to listen listening to uh, songs in English while I was studying English. So both movies and songs are pretty good, I think. It's not really study-study, but it's like entertainment and study. So I'm wondering if you use such tools for learning Hungarian, which songs or which movies you are watching to get better in Hungarian. Please let us know. Tartok egy három perces bevezető beszédet magyarul a magyar barátaimnak. I'll give a three-minute introductory speech in Hungarian to my Hungarian friends. I just remember that while I was studying English or even Japanese, I was practicing by 
<clears throat> memorizing longer texts. It's maybe a little bit difficult, but definitely it helps you to get comfortable with speaking in that particular language. And then um, if you prepare the text on your own, then while you're translating, you can also learn new um, words. So that was one way that I use while studying the language. So I think it worked. Megtanulok öt magyar dalt. I'll learn five Hungarian songs. If you do the same, please let me know which Hungarian songs do you like. Megtanulok 350 szót a hungarianpod101.com oldalán lévő szókártyák segítségével. I'll memorize 350 words with the help of flashcards on hungarianpod101.com. Our flashcards feature is pretty useful, so if you are not familiar with this option, then please check it out on hungarianpod101.com. Írok tíz képeslapot magyarul a magyar barátaimnak. I'll write ten postcards in Hungarian to my Hungarian friends. I used to send postcards while I was traveling abroad. Not all the time, but sometimes when there was a special opportunity to get, to get a cool card, then I definitely sent it to my friends or family. Megtanulom, hogyan beszéljek múlt, jelen és jövőbeli eseményekről. I'll learn how to talk about past, present and future events. Yeah, this can be useful when you prepare that three minutes introductory, <laughs> introductory speech for your friends. For example, you can talk about uh, your... Yes, I remember when I was learning language, it was one of the homeworks that you had to write about your... Da not daily routine, but like weekly routine. So you were talking about what you did at the beginning of the week and what you're doing right now and what you're planning to do during the weekend. So such compositions could be something what helps you to learn about or write about past, present and future events. Elsajátítok 150 szót úgy, hogy minden nap megtanulok ötöt. I'll master 150 words by memorizing five words a day. For this purpose, you can use our flashcards. So check hungarianpod101.com. Promotion. And it's the end. Yes, end of the super long Hungarian sentences. Oh, yes. Hungarian language is so beautiful and so long. Thank you for watching this video. Please let us know uh, if there is something mentioned about your language learning goals for the year, especially about Hungarian language learning goals. And don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and check hungarianpod101.com for more great Hungarian content, plus the flashcards, which are really useful. And see you next time. Bye! Ah! Ah! <laughs> In this video, you'll learn three reasons you're never too old to learn a language, and you'll also learn three ways our learning system can help people of all ages to study efficiently. Number one, seniors have better focus. Learning a new language in your 50s or 60s may actually be easier than learning as a teenager or young adult. More mature adults can better focus on the details necessary to master a new language. Older people are also often more dedicated to their goals and put more work into achieving them. Seniors are better able to focus on completing lessons and reaching goals. There are a lot of distractions out there these days for young people. There's everything from Facebook to Instagram and all the usual drama of daily life at work and at school. Seniors are typically less concerned with these kinds of things and are better at focusing on tasks until completion. This is extremely important for language study, where regular practice and attention to detail are key. Not only are you never too old to learn, you may have some advantages over younger learners. Our language learning program has a number of special tools to make learning a new language in your 50s or 60s easy. You'll use the same resources as a tech-savvy teenager. Number two, learning is vital to healthy and happy living. 
Learning is actually vital to your health. Doing things like playing word games, doing puzzles, and even using online platforms like Luminosity do help keep the mind nimble. But nothing compares to learning a second language in terms of health benefits for your mind. Learning another language may be one of the very best retirement hobbies you can pick up. You can also apply your second language knowledge when you travel. Number three, there are health benefits to learning new things after the age of 60. Learning a second language increases the number of neural pathways in the brain. Forging these new neural pathways helps you code and sort the new language you are learning. In addition, there are other brain health benefits associated with learning a new language. Here's a list of benefits bilingual people can enjoy. Higher overall general intelligence, better memory and memorization skills, better perception of surroundings, better focus, concentration, and attention to detail. So in a very real way, learning a new language is one of the best and most practical retirement hobbies you can find because it helps protect against cognitive decline as you age. Now let's talk about how our language learning program has methods to make sure you can start learning in your 50s, 60s, and beyond. Number one, we have an intuitive, easy to use system. Learning in old age doesn't have to be hard or irritating. It can and should be fun. From your very first lesson, we'll make sure you're speaking fluently every day. You can start and stop each lesson as many times as you want. Study when you want, where you want, and at the pace you decide. Number two, you'll find special tools to boost retention and performance. As we mature, learning to use the right tools is vital to getting jobs done fast and right. So we make it easier than ever to make learning in old age fun and rewarding with a wide range of tools to boost retention and performance, including spaced repetition flashcards, so you can learn vocab fast, line-by-line -line audio transcripts, so you can read along with each lesson, pronunciation and accent review, instructor lesson notes, review quizzes, 2000 core words, enough for fluency, you are truly never too old to learn with more than 20 tools and resources to help boost learning and performance. Number three, you'll get support every step of the way. Although you may never be too old to learn, it doesn't hurt to have a little help along the way. Our language learning system has helped thousands of seniors learn and master a new language with help and support at every step. We offer 24 seven assistance. Just send us an email. We have dedicated language experts standing by to help you with any problem or issue you may be experiencing. There is also instructor feedback. Have specific questions about a lesson or your progress? You can directly email instructors and get direct responses to any question you may have about your studies or lessons. Or try studying with your very own instructor. Members of our exclusive Premium Plus plan not only get a custom curriculum tailored to their very own goals, they also gain access to their very own language instructor. Learning in old age isn't just a luxury, it's crucial to helping avoid the onset of Alzheimer's, dementia, and other age-related cognitive issues. Specifically, learning another language helps increase overall intelligence and improve awareness, memory, and overall cognitive function. So not only are you never too old to learn a new language for health reasons, it's a great way to meet new people and start adventures. Want to cut your language studying time in half? In this video, you'll discover how learning a language using PDF lessons is convenient, efficient, and can help you cut your studying time nearly in half. Many people give up on their dream of learning a second language because traditional classroom instruction is too much of a hassle. Between getting to class, studying on someone else's schedule, and just the sheer expense of the books and tuition, traditional learning can be tough. Many people simply give up. Online classes are an option, but sometimes limited data plans can derail the dream of learning a new language. Fortunately, there is a solution, learning language using PDF lesson notes. Let's take a closer look at how studying language lessons in PDF format can help you reach your dream in about half the time of normal video or audio lessons. First, print all lessons and PDF tools and take them with you anywhere. Sometimes a tiny smartphone screen just isn't adequate, especially when you're trying to learn something new. The great thing about PDF lessons is that they can be quickly printed and taken anywhere after you download them. In fact, printing out lessons in PDF format can actually save you time when compared to going through the material on a smartphone with a small screen even with the extra printing time. 
Second, they're a great study tool to boost retention and mastery. Studying video or audio lessons online is a great way to learn a language because students can play and rewind sections as many times as needed until the lesson is mastered. But when you review the same lessons again in PDF format, an incredible thing happens. Your retention dramatically improves. Thanks to time-spaced repetition, seeing the information again in written format helps reinforce the information in your mind and improves both retention and recall. The benefits of learning a language using PDF lessons quickly add up to significant time savings for you, your data plan, and your dream of learning a new language. Third, all lessons in PDF format include in-depth instructor notes. We have thousands of HD video and audio lessons, and each one includes a PDF version with a line-by-line -line transcript, so you can read along with the lesson as it appears online. In addition to the line-by-line -line transcript, all lessons include in-depth instructor notes with more information, sample sentences, explanations, and translations. The additional information and notes help you learn faster and with greater mastery than using the video or audio lessons alone. And when paired with language learning video games, video and audio lessons, or other study aids, our PDF lessons help you reach your dream of learning a new language faster and easier than many traditional classroom settings. Fourth, you can download the world's largest online collection of lessons by real instructors. Planning on going on vacation and don't know if you'll have reliable internet service? If you're learning through PDF lessons, it's not a problem. Once you download lessons in PDF format to your smartphone, PC, or favorite media device, they are yours to use and keep forever. Once downloaded, you can either print out or access your lessons in PDF format, regardless of internet access. When you consistently learn through PDF lessons, the time savings and benefits quickly compound. From quicker access to faster learning, PDF lessons can potentially reduce total study time required to learn a concept. Our PDF lessons include instructor notes and supplemental resources that help you learn faster and with less effort. Does having a study partner help you learn a language faster? For most people, having a friend or romantic partner who is a native speaker of their target language dramatically improves their ability to master the language. In this video, we'll talk about some ways to help you build relationships with people. We'll also talk about three reasons having a native speaker partner can improve your language fluency. First, knowing a native speaker helps you better understand the culture. Knowing a native speaker gets you connected with the culture in ways that no lessons or textbooks ever could. Native speakers are better informed about the latest slang expressions and know interesting places to eat and hang out. Having a friend or partner who is a native speaker can dramatically improve your understanding of the language. In addition to language, you can learn about cultural practices, gestures, and relationships. Second, having a native speaker partner increases your exposure to the language. Practice makes perfect is a well-known expression that is certainly true for language learning. When you have a friend, romantic partner, or study buddy, you speak to them through text messages, phone calls, and basic interaction. These are all opportunities for you to practice the language. Making an effort to practice will help your vocabulary quickly expand beyond simple greetings, flirtatious words, and basic comments to deeper, more meaningful conversations. Third, a supportive partner is the best study aid you can find. We all make mistakes, especially when trying to learn a new language. But if you have a supportive partner, they can gently point out your mistakes and help you find better ways to express yourself. And if your native speaker study partner is also your romantic partner, your motivation will likely be even higher than someone who does not have a romantic relationship with a native speaker. Now, let's look at three ways our language learning program helps you learn even faster if you have a native speaker partner. First, all resources and materials are available in English and in your target language. Studying with a partner is special because it's an opportunity for both of you to learn a new language. That's why every single lesson, transcript, vocabulary list, and resource on our website is available in English and in your target language. You can learn from each other. Second, lessons are designed to help you understand and engage with culture. On our website, our focus is to help our students learn practical vocabulary and phrases that are actually used in everyday conversation. This means that from your very first lesson, you can start applying what you learn immediately. So if you want to go out to a restaurant, play games, or attend a social function with your partner, you'll have the vocabulary and phrases necessary to have a great time. Third, access to special resources dedicated to romantic phrases. 
If your study partner is your romantic partner, we have resources to help you communicate your feelings correctly. Our language learning program has special sections and tools to teach you love words, phrases, and cultural insights. Of course, please remember that simply being in a relationship is no substitute for studying. Communication is key to every relationship, whether romantic or not. If you fail to continue expanding your vocabulary and you stop learning the language on your own, your relationships may suffer or fizzle out. Without question, spending time with native speakers can help you dramatically improve your language proficiency. But this is no replacement for focused studying. It's essential to help facilitate better communication and master the language. Want to transform your driving time into language learning time? How much time do you spend in your car every day? 30 minutes? More than an hour? Why not put this huge amount of time to good use? Instead of just listening to the radio during your daily commute, you could be learning a new language instead. Here are three easy methods for learning a language in your car. You can put them to use right away with the help of our language learning program. First, you can listen to fun audio lessons by real teachers. Listening to lessons while in the car allows you to focus on the road as you listen and learn. In every one of our three to 15 minute lessons, our teachers teach you conversations, new phrases, and cultural points. Audio is the only learning medium that lets you learn and drive safely at the same time. So take advantage of all our audio lessons available. Second, you can set your lessons on autoplay and go hands-free. Our autoplay feature lets you keep your hands on the wheel without even reaching for your device. Just set your lessons to autoplay one by one with our Innovative Language 101 app and never have to interrupt your focus on driving to switch to a new lesson. Third, you can repeat out loud and speak from your very first lesson. You want to speak a new language too, right? Well, you'll start learning conversations minutes into your lessons. All you have to do is listen and repeat out loud. Our teachers take you step by step through all of the words, phrases, translations, and grammar points. You're even prompted to speak out loud and repeat. The result? You understand it all and can speak your new language. Turn your commute into language learning time and have fun at the same time. Learning doesn't have to be a big commitment, like signing up for a college class. It can be fun and easy. In fact, it's as easy as pressing play. Our language learning programs will do the work for you. And with the exposure you get while driving on your daily commute, you'll be speaking and understanding real life language quickly. The best part? You can finally learn without even changing your schedule. So if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. The three powerful language learning lessons you'll pick up at the gym. And today, you're going to learn, one, how to approach your goals, two, how to find time to learn a language, and three, why you don't need the best possible routine or learning program. So, if you've ever spent time in the gym, you'll quickly see how similar training and language learning are. But before we move on, listen up. Here are this month's new lessons and resources. First, want to perfect your pronunciation? Then get our new pronunciation PDF cheat sheet right now. You'll learn how to sound like a native speaker and how to practice your pronunciation. Second, do you know the seven tested ways to learn language fast? With this new ebook, you'll learn how to use our learning system to speak better, remember more words, and improve fast. Download it for free right now. Third, 20 useful phrases for a hair salon. Would you be able to get a haircut in your target language? If you said no, then this one minute lesson is just what you need. Fourth, 20 phrases for doing business successfully. If you're learning the language for work, this one minute lesson is for you. You'll learn the 20 most common greetings, phrases, and questions for business meetings. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. The three powerful language learning lessons you'll pick up at the gym. The first lesson is, how to approach your goals and language learning. So, why are we talking about the gym? The gym is a great example because it's filled with people working on their goals, and it gives you a snapshot of where most people are with their goals. 
And everyone there has one goal, to be fit. But not everyone is there yet. You have a few people that look like fitness models. Then you have around 20 or 30 people that have good, respectable physiques, the middle group. And then the rest of the people are still working their way up. It's motivating because everyone has a chance of succeeding. If you've been to the gym, you understand the importance of repetition, doing reps. A rep is the number of times you do a certain exercise. Like 15 push-ups is 15 reps of push-ups. So even people still working toward their goals have a chance of succeeding if they put in the reps. If they do a little bit a day over a long period of time, they'll get there. The process is simple. The more you do, the longer you stick with it, the more progress you make. And the same goes for learning language or any other goal in life. It's about putting in the reps a little bit a day, consistently, for a long period of time. If you want to get bigger muscles, you pick up a dumbbell and you do reps. If you want to learn more words, you do the reps. Five new words a day. So, what can you do right now? For example, if you're using our program, just do one lesson a day. If you have a textbook, do one page a day. If you're using an app, put in five minutes a day. Again, everyone has a chance to succeed. They just need to put in the reps and they need to make the time. This is where the second lesson comes in. You'll learn how to find and make time to learn a language. There's a reason the people you see at the gym daily, and especially the people you see at 10 p.m. on a Friday, are the ones with above average results. They're the most consistent. But how do they get that level of consistency? There tend to be three types of people. First, the people that have plenty of free time, so it's a non-issue for them. Second, the busier people. They make time regardless of what their schedule is like, meaning they show up at 1 a.m. just to fit in a session, or they cancel other plans to make time. And third, the people who have made it a habit. They're so used to going that they don't have to think about it. Ideally, you want to be in the third group with language learning, but most people fall into the second group. The truth is that to make time, they have to cancel other plans. Some wake up earlier to squeeze in a session in the AM. Some go late at night. It's the same exact thing with language learning. You make time. The good news with language learning is you don't need to open up a lesson at 1 AM and put in an hour. With our learning program, you'll get our quick but powerful three to 15 minute audio and video lessons. And because the lessons are short, you can easily make time. You can do a lesson on your commute or while walking somewhere. Imagine learning a quick conversation while on your way to the store. Finally, the third language learning lesson you'll learn at the gym is why you don't need the best possible routine to get results. Have you ever heard a friend say, I have to start the right way. It has to be perfect. Well, this is a disastrous way to start anything, whether fitness or language learning. And most learners spend a lot of time worrying about starting right instead of just starting and keeping at it. But the point is, if you start learning from a textbook and stick with it, you'll get results. You'll improve your reading, vocabulary, and grammar. Of course, it won't get you speaking. You'll only get good at what you focus on. But the fact is, you'll still make progress. Same with the gym. If you start off with bicep curls, you'll see progress in time. But at some point, you'll need to add in legs as well. You can't skip leg day. So here's what you can learn. Here's what smart beginners do. They don't look for the best way to start, they just start and keep going. And once they have a consistent routine, they start optimizing, they improve their routine. If you start taking one lesson a day and can easily maintain that routine, then you might eventually realize that you want to practice speaking. You need to shadow that lesson's conversation. So you add shadowing to your routine, and that's how you grow. Same thing with the gym. The smart beginners make sure they do their reps and come in as much as possible. And doing the basics is enough for them to build muscle. Later on, they'll start adjusting their exercises and adding new ones. But you'll never get to that point if you overthink yourself into inaction and don't build that habit. So as long as you start and continue, most starting routines and learning methods are good enough. You don't need the best possible one right now. You could have the best possible language learning program, but if you don't use it consistently, it's useless. All right, so today you learned, one, how to approach your goals, two, how to find time to learn a language, and three, why you don't need the best possible routine or learning program. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review. The monthly show on language learning. 
where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the free lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to speak more of your target language, talking points for language learners. And today you're going to learn one, what talking points are, two, five talking points you can use to start conversations and maximize your speaking time, and three, how to get our conversation cheat sheets so you can speak even more of your target language. And you'll find out how to get them for free. If you've always wanted to speak more in your target language, then this episode is for you. I'll get into this in just a bit. If you're like most language learners, then your number one goal is to speak more, right? You want to have fluent conversations with natives. It's a great goal to have. But for most language learners, speaking also happens to be their weakest skill. You may not know enough of the language to express yourself. You tend to run out of words and things to say. And you're just not sure how to start conversation. If you have at least one of these issues, then talking points are just what you need. Part one, what's a talking point? A talking point is a topic that invites discussion or argument. In other words, just something to talk about. It could be about yourself, your work, your hobbies, the weather, food, or what you did this past weekend. All of these are talking points. Here's an example to help you better understand talking points. Think of a conversation you'd have with a friend. You can ask, what did you do this weekend? They'll reply and then ask you back. The talking point here is the weekend. Let's say your friend says they went to a restaurant. That's a natural talking point to explore next. You can ask, what kind of restaurants do you like? Now you've covered two talking points. The more talking points you have, the more you can speak. And the same goes for your target language. The only challenge is you need to know the relevant words and phrases for that topic. For example, if you want to talk about the weekend, you need to know phrases and questions like, what did you do this weekend? I did this. What about you? In the next part, you'll discover five easy talking points that you can master with our learning program. Let's get into part two. Part two, five talking points you can use. The first one is learn how to introduce yourself in your target language. Why is this a powerful talking point? Introducing yourself is something you'll do again and again, every time you meet someone new. So learning the relevant phrases is a must. If you've done the first few lessons on our site, you can already do this. If not, then check out our absolute beginner lessons and the top 25 questions you must know lessons. You'll learn basic conversations with our quick three to 15 minute lessons. We'll give you the exact lines to use, along with the translations, so that you can use them in conversations. You can also use this talking point to continue a conversation. For example, if you've started with a different point, like the weather, then it makes sense to say, by the way, my name is... Talking point number two, the weather. This is a universal talking point. People like to talk or complain about the weather all over the world. In fact, just saying, it's really nice today, is enough to start a conversation with a native speaker. If you want to talk about the weather, check out our can-do lesson pathway called Can Talk About Weather. You'll find this pathway in the absolute beginner level of our lesson library. Talking point number three, compliments. Compliments are another great way to start a conversation or continue one. If you're running out of things to say, you can quickly transition and say something about their city, their country, or just, hey, I like your shirt. If you want to learn how to compliment, check out our compliments phrase list. This list is free to access for all users. If you don't know where to find it on our site, leave a comment in the comments below and we'll follow up. Point number four, ask for help. For example, you can ask for directions or about the price and let the conversation go from there. These are very basic phrases that you learn in our survival phrases lessons. If you want to strike up a quick dialogue, this is a great talking point to use. Point number five, learn phrases for transactions, like getting a room at a hotel, shopping, ordering food, or telling the taxi driver where to go. You may think that this isn't much of a talking point, but for the learners that are shy about talking to random native speakers for no reason, this is an easy way to start a dialogue. You have a good excuse. You wanna buy something so the staff will be happy to respond. Again, you learn all of these with our survival phrases lessons. Okay, let's move on to our last part. Part three, how to get our conversation cheat sheets. 
Lastly, I'm going to tell you how to get our collection of conversation cheat sheets for free. With these cheat sheets, you'll be able to talk about all kinds of topics, travel, hobbies, dating, family, weather, and much more, which means you can master a lot of talking points and speak more of your target language. If you'd like to get these cheat sheets, please leave us a comment in the comment section. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to double your speaking time in your target language. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye! Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.